It is 5.38 in the morning and we are heading into the airport. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be great. Hey. Hi. Are you videoing it? We made it to San Diego. Pretty good. A couple of good flights, actually. And palm tree. There's a palm tree inside here. <clears throat> and all outside. It's our first time in California, too. Yeah, yeah. One of my buddies told me we should go get a charter and go to some fish while they're in surgery. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Run over to Baja. Yeah, you can go on that. I didn't even see the yacht, Ben. I was looking at the carrier. Right? The, Navy boat, <laughs> the naval carrier. Yeah, I, see. Yeah. I saw the yacht first. <laughs> behind it. Oh, we're yeah. saying two different things. We feel all the way where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. Because here is kind of like the, 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 the wall, the famous wall, right? <laughs> okay. So they have the wall over there, but we have to go to a, to a kind of like a freeway and then go back. Like the, the, same, exact, uh, the same exact way we're coming down. We're gonna do the same thing, kind of like going back, uh, back, but in Mexico side. I got you. Yeah. The only difference between uh, the U.S. Customs and the Mexicans is here they have the military <laughs> with big guns and stuff. Oh. oh, right on cue. There he is. Yeah. Right now, there's sometimes there's a lot, sometimes there's just mm -hmm. a few. Yeah, sometimes they're open. Huh. And they're 
believe that there was problem because you have to take care of this road because you can mess your car like it's much open and you go through one of those holes like once in my uh, my car was broke because just made it to the, the room and this is what it looks like. You walk in this door. Don't mind me. <laughs> and your first turn right here is, where is the light switch? Um, okay. This is your bathroom. TV. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, security. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. We have two hours till surgery. Uh, password. What the flip? Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's passing time with games. I'll show them. Our Family game. Feud Live. That's what we got right now. So, show them how busy this bed is. The bed, oh, yes, the bed. Pay for it. It's just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> You're showing Ty right now. <laughs> For the folks at home, that was thigh, not butt. So don't, don't be too, too scared. You can hear the you can. I think one just popped. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That is insane. I used to sleep on stuff like that when I went over to my grandma's house. <laughs> hey, but nonetheless, we're here. And she's gonna have the surgery she's been wanting for nine years? Long time. Long time. Long, long time. She's got her IV in. You can see her IV. There it is. She's a beauty. <laughs> and we're waiting. Surgery's gonna be, like she said, in about two hours. A little bit less than that. So. Yeah. We've been here since about what? 11, 30? No. 11. I guess around 11. So. Anyway. Oh, her arm. Ouch. That's still recording. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's hard doing this when you can't see yourself. Mm -hmm. I haven't had anything to eat or drink since, well, eat since yesterday. Yeah. And then I've barely drank anything today and I'm so dehydrated that they tried to get a vein through my hand. Right there. And the pain went all the way up to my, well, the needle. Yeah, but the pain now. The needle went all the way up to my wrist there. I can still feel the pain right here. I'm surprised it's not blue right now. But then she was able to finally get one right here. To get that, what is that again? IV. Oh, this up here? Yeah. Sodium chloride, I believe. To get the sodium chloride going. Which I'm not exactly sure what it does. So, I think, I don't know. 
So the steps that I had was we came in, went to the waiting room for maybe like 10 minutes. And then they, you, they took us upstairs to our bedrooms, which are these rooms. That's his bed. Brought us up here and we were waiting for a while. They came and did my blood. They came and did my blood first? Yeah, I think so. I thought three different people came in. Okay, so they did my blood. And then I'll have to tell you the story about the EKG guy outside of this place. And then... Um... This, this, this is what happened. Jeez, I have amnesia. What happened? I, I, I forgot to. What did they do first? The blood. The blood, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, what I'm thinking of is she came in here with a robe. And for me to fill out paperwork. Oh, so the right. first thing was paperwork. And then she gave me this gown to get on and I had to take everything off underneath it even though it was so early and I'm not having surgery till four. So I went ahead and put shorts on. But other than that, we're just sitting here waiting till four. Got to meet Dr. Bettencourt and he was really mm -hmm. nice. Very nice, yep. Very nice guy. Feeling pretty confident about it with him, so. Yeah, he made me feel way better. Mm -hmm. After that one guy. We had an experience, you guys are not gonna believe because we couldn't believe it, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But we're, we're good now. Yeah. Just one guy's not going to get us down. This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I do feel better. Yeah. I'm good. I'm, gl I'm glad because Andrea should feel good all the time because she's amazing. Yeah. It takes a lot to get me in tears. Oh, yeah. And I was in tears because I was so mad and felt so violated. <laughs> but anyways... I will make a video, actually Josiah will make a video whenever I come out of surgery. So I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Be prepared. This is the next morning and I was still in quite a bit of pain, but I was gone in surgery for about four hours, didn't get back into my room until after 8 p.m. And I was in a lot of pain, so much pain. I remember telling Josiah a couple of times that I just wanted to die because I was in so much pain but it got better overnight I actually got up and walked one time and so now this is me just showing you my four incisions the very next morning Eight forty-five the next morning and they just brought me my first food I'm not really sure what all that is. I've only had three ice chips and three tiny little sips of water so far. And they brought me this jello and two cups. I don't know what's in the cups. I have no idea. Smells like juice. Oh my. Mm. Oh. That tasted like heaven. Oh, this cup is warm. I think this one is a broth. Yeah, this one's a broth. I'm so nervous to eat. But I want to record what it feels like to have my first bite of food. I think I'm going to go for the jello. Here we go. <laughs> He's passed out. Maybe 
I should sit up. I think I'm gonna sit up. I don't know what to compare it to. What? There's blood coming out of this. There's the the bag is empty. And now blood's starting to come out of the ivy. It's just like a cramp. Like a... Um, it's not a sh not really so much sharp pain. But more like a cramp going all the way down. And then I can feel whenever it gets to my stomach. And you can I can like feel kind of like my stomach working to uh it did the same thing with a little sip of water. <sighs> and a lot of people complain about heartburn after this. And I already have heartburn, so I'm praying that it doesn't get worse. Because if it does, I'll have to be on probably a prescription because I already have bad heartburn. But I think I also had bad heartburn because I was eating like crud. Because whenever I was on my liquid diet, my heartburn, for the whole week that I was on my liquid diet, I had heartburn like three times. And if you know me, like I would have it every single day, all throughout the day. So... I think eating better and healthier will help with that. I think they're gonna come and switch this. Blood is starting to come out of my IV because the bag is empty. But yeah, that was medicine. Medicine. I'm here till tomorrow. They're driving me back, or me and Josiah back across the border tomorrow and then we're staying in a hotel for two nights and then flying back home Sunday you want to come say hi yeah he just woke up because I kept him up all night part of it how you doing everyone <laughs> good to see you I'm gonna come get some new I new IV bag okay <clears throat> also, if you're ever thinking about doing this, um, learn Spanish, because the language barrier is has been somewhat of an issue, but not too much. We thank yeah, God for Google Translate. The ladies but, here have been so but, nice. Yes. Oh yeah. So caring. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I've. Whenever I had Colton and Wade, I don't th think I had a nurse as caring. I mean, you ask and they do mm -hmm. whatever you need here. They're so sweet. Yeah. yeah. It would make things a little bit easier, but but it. thank God for Google Translate, like I said. Yeah. But it takes a little bit of time just to just to get them to know what you're there's needing. Only a, but... There's only a couple people that know some <laughs> English, but mm -hmm. it's... It's been okay. I haven't tried the broth yet. I'm gonna try a sip of it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yep, that's salty. <laughs> when it's good. Oh, that hurt. Ouch, that hurt. Right? Yeah, I had a hiccup. Oh. Yeah, I hiccuped in my and it hurt my shoulder. It's amazing to know or to experience like all the simple things that you're used to, but now it's like making it kind of complex, right? What? Kind of like trying to clear your throat and stuff. Oh yeah. Throat, now well, it's like oh. I remember with the C-sections, I couldn't really <clears throat> I mean, you can't really cough or Mm -hmm. Sneeze oh, or clear your I'll throat without sneeze. your incision hurting. Mm -hmm. But since this gas has traveled to my shoulders, mm -hmm. and whenever I say the gas, I'm talking about like they fill your stomach with gas to have a better um, opening to see your stomach better. 
that's the kind of gas that I'm pains that I'm having in my like shoulders and my stomach area. Not, I haven't, I haven't even had the urge to fart. So I don't think it's that kind of gas. I haven't. Yeah. No, I'm just glad. I'm just glad she was able to do this because she's been wanting it for years. So it's good. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Just showing you my arm here. It hurt really bad. But um, they made us drink this disgusting dye stuff because we had to go to a clinic and get x-rayed. And I just took a couple of pictures on our way to the clinic. That car ride was a little rough. The bumps, because I mean, after that surgery, you can feel all the bumps. But yeah, we had to wait for like an hour in this place to get our x-ray. What you doing? <laughs> okay, turn it off. No. You're brushing my hair. We're supposed to get released today. It's day three. I asked, asked uh, the front desk lady and she said around three or four. Oh, really? So we still got a few more hours, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, but that's still earlier than I was expecting. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. I am having broth and juice and jello. Last time I had one of those popsicles I threw up so I probably won't eat it. And then he went to a store and got this for me. And it was really good. But the pain has been pretty bad. But I haven't had pain medicine since, what, three in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. And we went and got our x-rays. We had to drink some dye here and then we had to ride in a car to a different hospital do our x-rays there drink more nasty stuff during the x-ray and then we came here finally got to our hotel it was a rough ride for me because my pain medicine wore off while we were on our way to San Diego from the hospital Jerusalem in Tijuana <clears throat> I'm extremely full of fluids and stuff I had them weigh me <clears throat> I had them weigh me before we left and I actually in 12 pounds more than what I came in weighing but that's because surgery was all right here and so it's swollen really bad I have bandages that was where the drain was in here is the other incisions but yeah it's nice to actually be back in the states and have um water running water which was a luxury there they turned it off and turned it on whenever we needed it soap not every room had soap electricity they turned off all the lights whenever they weren't being used which I mean, a lot of people do. A nice shower, a toilet that flushes every single time you flush it. 
in a real bit. <laughs> I know I am just definitely more thankful for what we have at home after seeing the things that I saw in Mexico. It was pretty sad. Just so I ran to a grocery store that's close to us. We're at the Bayfront Holiday Inn Hotel and it's really, really nice. Um, he actually got this for me before we left Mexico. Oh, it's all in Spanish, so the only thing I know is that there's an apple on there. But I just took a pain pill like 10 minutes ago, so I'm waiting for that to kick in because I'm in pain. And I'm so swollen. I'm not hurting near as bad as I was in the beginning, but I'm in more pain than I thought I would be whenever we got into San Diego. I thought I would be leaving the hospital and I would feel like good enough to just walk normal. I still have to walk really slow, which stinks because I I got Josiah Cri or Christmas present, a birthday present because today is his birthday for tomorrow for us to go on a uh, tour of the one of the uh, Navy ships and stuff and get to ride around around the bay in the ship so I really I'm really praying that by tomorrow morning I feel way better because I don't want I don't want him like him to have to go without me on the ship I would really like to be able to go on the ship so we'll see he still doesn't know I think I'm thinking about telling him whenever he gets back from the grocery store because he walked to one of the stores around here to get me some more juices and stuff but oh I'll show you the pain box the pain box that I don't know where he put it oh it's sitting over there this is the of course in Spanish the antibiotic I have to take every oh 12 hours I have no idea what kind it is because it's in Spanish and then this is the pain medication that I'm supposed to take every eight hours so Other than that, that's all they sent me with medication wise. So, when it comes to like vitamins and stuff, oh, I'm so tired. When it comes to vitamins and stuff, I guess I'll just look it up and look at what other people are saying in the support groups. Okay, I will keep you guys updated. I wanted to add in there that the very next day, Saturday, the May 1st, I felt so good compared to what I had been feeling so we went ahead and went and walked around San Diego and got to take him for his birthday surprise. This was the cruise around the bay that was included in his surprise and earlier I said a Navy ship I think it wasn't it was um, something a little bit different but it was really interesting and we still got to go around the bay Really nice. 